What's up everybody and welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. Today we're switching things up a little bit. It's a beautiful day here in Indiana. To be honest with you, we really don't want to be in the studio. So we're going to head outside, check out the plots, and just see what the farm looks like today. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we made it. We made it. Yep. Beautiful cornfield. I'm Aaron. This is Colin. Let's, Let's dig, dig in. in. So today on the first stop of our The Dig Farm Tour, we are here in the nitrogen system study. In this nitrogen system study, we are comparing the different systems with urea and UAN. So Aaron is actually standing in the split on this. So everything on the right side of Aaron is our standard 60 units, two by two by two with the planter, followed by 130 units with the side dress rig. But what we really, really want to talk about right now is this, these four rows that I'm standing in with the Y drops. Right, so we came in on June 16th and Y dropped 130 units uh, with the Haggy out here. So same total nitrogen, both of these four rows. Yep. If you think back to that nitrogen management video that we shot a while back, we talked about the importance of incorporating that nitrogen. So we have had two tenths of an inch of rain since we did this application on June 16th. It is now July 1st, and that two tenths of an inch really saved us because we have been very hot and essentially dry since that application. If we wouldn't have got that two tenths, I think that we'd see probably a little more of a visual difference here. There's a little bit of a difference, but Hardly anything, no measurable difference, I would say. So the point that we're trying to make here is going back to that getting nitrogen incorporated. We got lucky, we got that two tenths of an inch. If you're out wide dropping, making some nitrogen applications, keep that weather in mind. You know, try and time that out close to a window of rain if we can. It doesn't always happen. Sometimes you have to do what you gotta do, but watch that's just that what weather we, man. Yeah, watch that weather man. We just wanted to point that out. We'll go to the next stop. Yeah. Let's do it. Here we are on stop number two standing in front of our long-term tillage study. So for over 20 years now, we've had no-till corn after corn and conventional till corn after corn in this block. Aaron, I don't, I don't really see a whole lot of difference though. Like everybody says a big deal about no-till versus conventional. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that, but why don't we go ahead and put the bird up in the air, get a bird's eye view, see what it looks like from up there. Not a bad idea. All right, let's do it. All right, so now that we got the bird up in the air, let's pause it right here. I'm gonna try my very best, John Madden. So obviously, as you can tell, boom, right here, here's the split. We've got conventional till over here. We've got our no-till section over here. So as Aaron mentioned earlier in the video, we've only had two tenths of an inch of rain since June 16th. So this corner over here in the no-till section, it's happy, right? In the conventional till, not so much. Why is that though? All right, so Aaron, so as you can tell, over here on the no-till section, that soil structure can be able to retain as much of that water as possible to be able to feed that plant, keep that plant greener, keep it healthier. So over here in the conventional area, as we've said before, we've had this conventional till for 20 plus years. And as you can tell, there's we don't have a real great soil structure down here. Don't have a real great up here either. So those are really thin stand corn. The corn's real rolled up. There's not a whole lot of moisture there in that zone. Looks pretty good right here, but not as good down in here. On these hot summer, dry days, we need that moisture in this soil so our corn down here can look like corn down here. Well, that's enough heights for one day. I think it's time to get down. Send me down. So after looking at that picture, there's definitely some stark differences between the two. But don't take this as us saying we prefer no-till over conventional till or conventional till over no-till. Honestly, that's gonna come down to you and your operation. But just know that after 20 years of doing this out here, we see about a two bushel difference on average between those two practices when we average out of that 20 years. So each one has its benefit, weigh them out, do what's right for you. And with that, let's go let's to go our third our, stop. Yeah, let's, let's go to our next one. Stop. So with our third and final stop, we are here at our 400 bushel high yield attempt. Yes. With this attempt, we are trying to hit 400 bushel corn, obviously. Yeah. In 2020, we actually hit 400 bushel at 406 and a half. We're super, super thrilled to death about that. Oh yeah, for sure. Last year, we didn't quite hit that 400 bushel mark. We came close. Mother Nature threw us a few cards that, you know, we tried to deal with them as best we could, but you can't always control everything. However, we can control an awful lot down here. We've got a drip line irrigation. We have more tile than anybody could ever want in the field down there. 
We can turn it on, we can turn it off, we can control the water going in and out for the most part. We also have a linear irrigator. We do a lot of fungicide and insecticide applications through that linear. We do a lot of cool stuff down here. Micros, macros, nitrogen, sulfur, um, you name it, we're probably trying it down here. Colin, you wanna maybe tell them about Field Show yeah, and yeah. maybe they can learn a little more. So at Becknology Days, we will be showcasing this. Aaron and I will be on tour number one, 1A. 1A. Because this is such an important area of our farm that we have to have two tours. Two tours. So on that tour, we're gonna dive deep and get down and dig down, right? Dig, 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 dig we're down. We're gonna dig, dig down. down. We're gonna get down in the meat, meat and potatoes and really, really want you guys to understand what we're doing down here and how we can implement some of the stuff we're doing down here on your guys' farm and even out into our plots out here. Yeah, definitely. Colin, we can't forget about the beans nope, too. No, nope. no. We, we do have soybeans down there. We're shooting for 125 bushel on soybeans too. So we got to throw that in there to get that rotation between the, the corn crops. But Aaron, what about like other field shows? They don't have this. No, they don't, but they've got a lot of cool stuff. Anything that you've seen us talk about today or even studies we've talked about in the past, there's a good chance you'll see the vast majority of those at our other field shows. So whether it be Henderson, Kentucky or Effingham, Illinois, whatever your regional show is to you, we really encourage you guys to get out there, go on those tours, learn, take things back to your farm, become more profitable. And also what most people like about the field show the best, a good meal. So make sure you guys get out there and enjoy those field shows. We put a lot of time and effort into them and we really enjoy helping people, helping people, helping, helping farmers. farmers succeed. Yeah, just make a piece of that in, sure, yeah. right? We really enjoy getting out there and helping farmers succeed. God, Aaron, it's so hot. It's windy, I'm thirsty. Really hot. You wanna go to the gas station and get a drink? If you're buying. I'll buy. All right, I'm in. Let's go. Let's go. Man, Aaron, this is, this is nice. This is. This was a good idea on yeah. your part. Yeah, this is a real nice, this is a nice job. Yep, yep. I'm probably done for the day, to be honest with you. Like, I'm. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm, I'm, pr I'm, right, I'm right there with you, yeah, I think. Yeah, I've done a lot today, you know? Yeah. Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Hey. Hey. You guys ever heard of The Dig? What? The Dig. It's a YouTube channel? No. No? Never. What? Nothing? Never. You guys should check it out. Seriously. Maybe. Hey, let it go. It's, it's their loss, you know? That, that's right, that's their loss. It's their loss. But. Well, hey, guys, thanks for joining us again on this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time on the next episode of The, the Dig. Dig. Well, then, let's, uh, yeah, want to head home? Yeah, what do you say we catch some Mexican food, though, right across the street, and then we go home? Close enough for lunch for me. You're, no. bu you're buying Mexican, too, right? I bought the drink. Well, you're buying Mexican, too. Buy you buy the Mexican, I'll buy the drink. Oh.